Good afternoon, it's Saturday the 18th of November and it's 8 minutes past 3 but it's already dark. I hate this wintry weather, it's the rain set in this morning and hasn't eased up all day, everything's grey, um, it looks more like 6pm. <laughs> um, so I've been recovering from my tattoo which is uh, quite a major thing to have to do um, and I've recently had a few of these episodes um, and I bring it up because I had another episode this morning where I get extremely cold um, and my hands and face and feet and legs and most of my skin all turns purple from the cold um, and I feel like I can barely move, I'm moving very slowly and I can't think straight um, and essentially it's like I'm getting hypothermia but it's happening when I'm in the house um, and today because both my mum and Jamie were home we actually checked the temperature in the rooms I was in um, as well as the thermostat and everything like that and we found out that it's happening at a temperature of 20 degrees celsius inside the house so I mean it's not cold but I am cold it's like the cold's coming from inside me coming it from the inside out as if all my blood flowing through my veins is just cold, almost so cold it's freezing and I feel like I just freeze solid and the only solution to this is piling me up in ridiculous amounts of clothes so right now I've got on um, a t-shirt, a jumper, three dressing gowns, um, a blanket three pairs of trousers and my fluffy slippers so um, wearing all this I'm not cold but I wouldn't say I'm warm either even though the house has been heated up to 21 degrees now um, so these are episodes that sort of almost don't seem to have any basis in reality because um, the reality is it's not cold it's a normal temperature but for me, I am freezing cold um, and I do get cold easily when I go out in the cold and get hypothermia and that's actually what I thought was behind these episodes as well um, but I've now realised it's actually um, a much bigger problem where even in a normal temperature I'm getting really cold from the inside somehow. Um, it's not obvious whether it's linked to my postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS um, which can make you feel cold but usually isn't that severe um, because it does cause things like blood pooling which tends to you know cool you down to an extent but doesn't really explain the whole problem and then there's um, my Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and I think it's something to do with that in some complex way. Um, I have tried to bring this up with doctors a couple of times, but they just tend to look really disbelieving. Um, they obviously think I'm exaggerating. Uh, they say you're cold because you're underweight. And I'm like, well, okay to an extent, but an underweight person isn't cold in like a room heated to 21 degrees Celsius. And. Um, this is the way it is when you live with um, a rare illness like Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and the associated conditions that come with it, um, like the POTS um, and all the stomach problems and everything. You have to figure out for yourself what's going on. Um, sometimes in the face of extremely dramatic symptoms that you would otherwise call an ambulance for, um, but you have to just figure out yourself what you need to do um, and what's behind it and I suppose I'm still figuring this cold thing out even though to a certain extent it's been around my whole life um, 
it's never got to this level before or anywhere near it um, so that is a worsening thing that I perhaps need to reflect on a bit more and try and work out how to deal with better uh, because I'm not dealing with it well I, I just sit there not being able to move I could be stuck there for hours sometimes just in pain and so painfully cold to the bone um, and just not being able to think properly or move or manage to get any clothes on somehow <sighs> it's horrible but anyway um, on the plus side my tattoo seems to be healing well And um, I got this letter today from the hospital. I'm always excited when I get a letter from the hospital because this is what your life becomes uh, when you're chronically ill. Um, and this one's to give me an appointment with the dietitian at the hospital. And I've been told this clinic, um, which is actually called Dietetics, um, only sees people who need NG tube feeding which I haven't had to have yet um, but I probably will need at some point so apparently I'm, I'm extremely lucky that they offered me an appointment um, so I'm interested to see what goes on there maybe they can actually push for me to get NG tube feeding or something if I explain to them the severity of the problem I'm not sure uh, but it'd be good to have it recorded at least. Um, today I've just been uploading my backdated video logs that I didn't upload for the last couple of days. I'm sorry about that. Um, I think the tattoo threw me off my routine. Um, and I think this rest of this afternoon and evening um, I'm going to work on some art stuff because this week's task for our art is to look at um, different compositions um, and to take inspiration for compositions maybe from classic photographs and things like that um, or other artists whose compositions inspire us um, and to try and make an image or multiple images in different compositions and reflect on the way those affect the outcome of the drawing. So um, I'm going to try and recompose a couple of my images to do with the refugee stories um, because I feel like they're not my absolute best possible work, they're what I did to get the ideas down um, and I could probably put a bit more into them and you know make them a bit more interesting as images so I'm going to try and work on that this evening um, and tomorrow. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do about Siku um, and there are a couple of other sort of issues as well that I'm pushing to the back of my mind um, but sometimes you've just got to get through the day haven't you? So. Um, I'm going to leave them for future Hattie to worry about. Um, so, bye bye for now.